Hello, all you wonderful and creative humans. I'm Pixie, and this is Pixie's Projects. If you've visited before, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome in. I'm glad you're here today. I'm going to show my supply haul for the month, of, well, through the month of May into June. Um, as of this morning, the last thing that came in, that's what I'm going to show. I'm sorry for this glare we have. I film under a window and my lighting is doing nothing to remove the sun. But stay tuned and I'll be back with the haul. Okay, so let's jump right into this. Um, there's not a lot of rhyme or reason to the way I'm going to go about it. It's just basically the biggest things first to get them off my desk. So I'm going to start with my sketchbook, Sketchbox subscription. This month was really cool because it was colored pencils. It's also really bad because it was colored pencils and I'm going to have a problem, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, so I got my sketchbook signature wet and dry media. This is just paper. You get paper every month. Uh, I got a Holbein colored pencil blender melts and it's just like a Gamsol or anything like that. It came with two Holbein pencils, which there's the bad part. I have avoided these pencils for quite a long time um, because I didn't want to like them and I got to and I like them and now I'm probably going to be looking for those. Um, <laughs> And I also got a pack of Derwent Chromaflow, a 12-pack, which I'll just open up real quick. And this is another one. I'm going to wind up with a 72-pack quite soon, I'm sure. Um, but these are the colors they sent, and they are quite lovely. And it's just, yeah, it's problematic. I, I wasn't looking to purchase something else, but here we are. So, yeah, um, and a future haul... We probably can expect Holbein's and Derwent Chromaflow in the full size. So that was Sketchbox. I believe this was June. And this may or may not be my last one. I cannot remember, but it's close. I'm finishing this off. Um, and then from there, we'll do a silly little thing. I got a new case. I did not recognize that I... When I purchased it, I did not realize it was the one that does the two sections. Um... I prefer the ones that go straight across, but I will still find a use for this. I have a lot of 12 packs and 18 packs of pencils that I think I'll just wind up putting in here so they're easily available when I'm just looking to shade something really quick. Um, also, if you can see, my swatch book is out. That's the word we're looking for because I have some things to show. I did not swatch my Derwent Chromaflows, um, but I have swatched quite a few other things. So I have these Deli Color in Motion pencil or crayons. They're plastic crayons. They're not in the box anymore. I take that stuff out. And it goes into these boxes, which go up on my shelf. Just open this up to show you. There's quite a nice selection. They blend very nicely. Um, and they don't have numbers or names. So I just labeled the tops of each. I do not remember if I swatched these yet. Hold on one second. Let me move over to the side. I did get these done. This is the colors. These are the colors they come in. Um, I've used these on a Matchstick Mouse page recently and we'll be using them more. If, as usual, if there's anything you want in the video, if you'd like to see a demonstration or see me swatch them, let me know in the comments and I can do that for you. I also bought the Ole Chalkorama Chalk Crayons. Um, Ole, or get, I'm calling it Ole. It's O-O-L-Y. They have their own website. You can get tons of things on there. They're very kid-oriented, um, but they have some neat products. So these are the Chalk Crayons. The problem I'm finding with these, besides, well, let me show them to you too. Oops, sorry. These are what they look like. Um, they're just twist up like gel crayons again unlabeled so I've just added numbers to them so I could keep track and they're in one of these boxes that goes on my shelf hold on this one's not wanting to close up right there we go okay so that's what they look like here's a swatch of them as well the problem I'm having with these is 
Are we dry yet? Yes. But this is like a week. Um, they took forever to dry. So I don't know if I would be spraying them with fixative. They almost remind me of like oil pastels. How they they don't remind me of that in the way they run. They are like um, very gel-like consistency. Very creamy. Um, the chalk part I don't really get until it starts to dry and feather. Then it looks like chalk. Um, but the oil, the oil pastel I'm talking about is like, it feels like they need fixative and like even fixative doesn't work on oil pastels too much. Um, so I don't know. I've, I've used them in a matchstick mouse page and I'm going to try and figure out exactly how to use them to their the best ability and not needing to use a fixative or not having to wait forever for them to dry. Um. But that's them. Then I got the Arteza Classic Colored Pencils in the pastel colors. Um, they're already out of this box. I usually take everything out of the box and put it in cases. But this appeared to be like they wanted it to be a case. These open up. That's where the pencils were. There was a piece of cardboard that went right inside of it. Um, but when you close it like that, all the pencils fell to the middle. So if you are someone who collects the cases or uses the cases on a daily basis, this didn't do it for me. Um, maybe it works better for somebody else. I don't know. But I know it, it wasn't my thing. Um, so I'm just showing you. These are the pastel pencils. I put them into my case already with my regular brand Artezas. And they're working very nicely. I do enjoy them a lot. Hold on one second. I feel like this pile is going to fall. All right, better. Um, and I also brought my swatch book out to show swatches of them as well. Amazon, Artex. There's Arteza, and I put the pastels in front. So I'll pull them up for you. And that's what the swatches look like from them. I have used them. They work really nicely. I enjoy them. Um... So I would recommend those. The next thing I have to show is this. And this was enabled by Tammy Colors 2. Um, she was asking about the dip pens that I use for when I use white ink, which I will eventually get a video out showing how I use dip pens. But she had purchased this, which made me want it. It's got 14 inks. It has, hold on one second, trouble getting it out. We have a glass pen holder, which, if you don't know, goes like that. And it keeps your ink from dripping everywhere. I have there's an ink cleaning cup or dip pen cleaning cup. And it comes with two dip pens. This one and this one. Um, this one's a thicker nib and this one's a thinner nib. I don't believe there's any way to show you except by writing, which if you like, I could do. Um, like I said, I'm going to try and get a dip pen video together. These were nice because the pen that I normally use is thinner than the thin one in this set. So now I have three different sizes. Anyway, so there's that. Um... You know, I'm just going to hold the video for one second. I'll pause. I'll be right back. I'm going to actually show you how they work. I have a lot of stuff here that I can show you what it looks like, and I don't have anything out for that. So let me do that. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've put out my mat just in case you were wondering what happened. I'm also not able to see what you can see at this time. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and try and show you what this stuff looks like. I have a lot of things that I think you might want to see what they look like. Uh, so let's start with these and we'll go back and I'll do the Uli crayons and the Deli crayons as well. Um, I'm not going to use the ink in here in a video because they have rubber stoppers and I will have ink all over me within three seconds flat. I have this Ecoline watercolor, which is one of the things I'm going to show you in my haul video. I'm getting an early peek while I'm doing it. I'm just going to dip in because it's quickest. And then let's see, what will we write? We can write hello. As you can see, they write quite smooth. 
I'm not sure. Well, maybe if I, I shut up for a minute. If you can hear the sound they make. And I'm just using regular copy paper, paper so I have, you know, the bleeding and the smudging, which I wouldn't have on a better piece of paper. But they write for a very long time with just that little tiny drip of ink that I put in there. Um, yeah, you can see there's hardly anything on this pen. And we just keep going and going and going. If you've watched um, like my bubble video or really any color with me that I've done and I'm using, um, I have a little bit of water over here. I'm just gonna swirl this and wash it off. But if you watch any of my videos where I color on camera, I usually use my dip pen for my white ink, which is a, an entirely different experience than what I've just done with this eco line. Um, so I do want to do a video for you guys to show you how that works. But this was the pen set I bought. It was quite lovely. Um, thanks again, Tammy, for finding it. And I'll be right back. I'm just going to grab those crayons. Okay, I thought I was planned out for this video, but clearly not as much as I thought. So, like I was saying about the Uli chalk crayons, um, they're very creamy. Like you can, I think you can kind of see how they just lay down. They don't make any noise. They're not horrible, um, but they're really nice. But they take eons to dry. Um, and they blend really well. Like I'm just using my finger because I'm lazy. But there you go. We've got the green going into the blue. I'm just going to move it up a little so hopefully you can see it. Um, like I said, I used them in a matchstick mouse book. I did a snail and I really liked how they look. They just didn't want to dry. And then I have the deli crayons here. I'm really hoping a lot of this is on screen and if it's not, I apologize. But Again, no names or numbers, so I can't really tell you other than I named it number 12. This is just their dark blue in the set. And again, we've got a really smooth lay down. You can feather the color out, as you can see. And then I'm going to take number 13, my number 13, and just show you the colors blending together. I use these on the same page. I did the snail because both sets came in on the same day and of course I had to play with all of it so this is what I got from them and there hopefully that's a little better for you to see and they do they work like crayons I mean the white space is there I have not attempted to get rid of the white space using like Gamsol or anything I personally kind of like it the way it is um so let's get on to the next thing I purchased which was this empty watercolor pan and it has 54 half pans in it and I got I think they're quarter pans I'm not sure um yeah I think quarters but I bought this for the shavings from my Neo Colors 2 Neo Color 2s so that I can make some palettes out of that and keep them around because I don't want to waste the shavings I mean those things are rather spendy and yeah I don't want to waste it so <laughs> that's what I did for that and then I bought I just keep getting up to make sure I'm in frame here um the next thing I purchased was the Prang Gallery Payons these are watercolor crayons I'm going to grab my little bucket of water which is over here and just grab a water brush real quick and we can have a play with these two and just see what we get out of them Again, I'm really sorry about the sun. It's just the time of the day I decided to do this. Wasn't the best. But if I wait any longer, I'm going to be gone because I have my knitting circle tonight. So I want to get this out before then. So just, I have not even played with these yet. Um, I can tell you that they look like they're pretty dusty. They're not labeled, named, color names, anything. They do go to the top of this paper, which I'm assuming can be removed. Um, I'm going to grab a little water here and just try to move this pigment around a little and see what we get. It does move nicely. It's got a lot of pigment. 
Again, this is just copy paper, so we don't, you know, it's not the greatest. Um, so let's take that red again, that red-ish. And this one did come with a paintbrush. I honestly didn't look at it. Uh, it's a size six. We'll use this instead just to see. So there's some red. And there's a pink in here. I mean, this is what I do when I get new stuff, when I play with it as it first comes in, just to see what happens. This is pretty much it. It's not scientific. I don't make a ton of effort. I should have went into pink first, but I did not. So let's get some more water and wash that red off. Let's do the pink first. That's way too much water, obviously, but, you know, it's just a little play. See how we feel. I'm going to come back in and push the pink into the red. We do get a nice blend, and it does seem to fade that line between the red and the pink. Um, I would need more time to play with these to see how I really feel about them. But they do what they say they're going to do, and that to me is always a plus. So that was the Prime Gallery Payons Watercolor Crayons. They're a set of 12. If they come in more than 12, I do not know. I've not seen it. Um, it says this product may permanently stain, so good thing I didn't use my fingers on that. Um, you can dip your crayon directly into water. I wouldn't do that. Um, yeah, it doesn't say to not use them as they are, but I probably would use them dry as well. Okay, so now we're on to the next thing. And the next thing we got was the Montmartre Metallic Acrylic Paints in Bronze, Copper, Gold, and Silver. Everything you've seen so far came from Amazon except my Sketchbox, which was from Sketchbox. Um, this is from Tuesday morning. So I did not open this. I did not attempt to open this. I'm going to do so now if it's not the most painful experience in the world. That wasn't too bad. And pull these out and we can see what they look like. See if they have the metallic shine we want them to have. I'm going to start with the silver. Oh, it's so noisy. I'm sorry. Let me just make sure there's not a stopper in here. And there is not. There's no way to really shake these. Um, so we're just going to plop some out and move it around. See what we got. I'm trying to be really careful because I always have a tendency to get way too much of anything okay so they're thick because this one's trying to stand up um and i'm going to clean off my brush again and come in and pull a little bit of that that is very shiny okay so i have this obsession with like metallics that aren't um shiny it seems like you get something and you're like oh my god it'll be shiny and then you know, it's not as shiny as you would like or not shiny at all. I've actually purchased some things that aren't shiny and I have a video coming up on that. I think next week it's already been filmed. I just haven't uploaded it yet, but I'm going to move up and out of that sunlight maybe so you can see as it dries, we'll be able to tell, but it, it really looks like it stays shiny. It doesn't show a ton of brush marks in it, which is nice. So for $13, I got four of these. That pop is so loud. Ah, I know what to do. I'm not gonna, I hope this isn't film. I'm just dipping into the tube because I don't want to waste paint again. Um, this is the gold. That is really pretty as well. All right, I wasn't expecting, to be honest, I wasn't expecting a lot out of these. And I bought them for my shiny video. Um, if you can hear that noise, it's my cat just coming in his cat door. But yeah, these are a lot shinier than I had thought they were going to be. So next we're going to try the bronze. Now I have not looked on Amazon yet to see if these are available there. But anywhere you get Montmark products, I imagine they'd be available. I know... In Australia, these are readily, I think that's where it is that Montmartre's readily available all the time. Um, but we usually get a good bit of it here in America as well. That's the bronze, and I do not have any other bronze, and I don't have a copper. So this is, this is a happy time for me. I hope you guys are enjoying 
seeing more of what's going on besides just here's a package of stuff. Um, I like when people show me at least this much of what something does when they do a haul so I have an idea of whether or not I actually want to buy this stuff or not. But that is the four colors of the Montmark Metallic Acrylic Paint Set. Remove those off to the side and get the next thing going. I'm going to turn our paper as well because we've got a lot going on over there. Um, let's see. Okay, so what else do we got? We got the King Art Ink Line Brush Tip Color Ink Pen Set. And it's an 8 set for $10. This was also Tuesday morning. And there's the colors that they say we have. Um, I don't know exactly how these will work. I will actually open them up and try to edit out the noise. So just give me one moment. Okay, so this is interesting. They have a little hole in them. It's, it's you know, plastic covered, but it's clear to show you the size of the brush, which is very tiny. And again, we'll just write hello because what else are we going to write? So the thin part is very thin. Thick part's nice and thick. I don't know how long this brush will last because it is so bendy. Um, but if they last a little while, they'll be worth it. So that's what they look like. Try a different color just to see. Yeah, these could be decent. Um, they'd be really good for tiny spaces and coloring pages. I know I'm going to wind up using them in my journal. But those are the King Art Ink Line Brush Tip Color Ink Pen Set. Also from King Art, I bought a set of watercolor pencils. These were also at the Tuesday morning for five dollars um it's just a 12 set and i have quite a few sets of watercolor pencils but i like having like um cheaper sets and smaller sets to take with me when i go places i'm grabbing green and blue okay we have apple these are labeled with names and numbers i'm grabbing an apple green And I'm grabbing this Kingfisher Blue because that's what I pulled out of the pack. And we'll try to mash those together for fun. Um, they're very bright and pigmented. And there's the colors we have in the set. But um, yeah, the pigments are nice. And I do try to take like watercolor pencils with me a lot because you can use them wet or dry. So more smearing pigment it is moving i'm just trying to get like a little bit of each of the sides that are themselves and then hit the center and see if we can make the green and the blue friends and it looks like we can so that's what came out of that and our inks are dry our metallics are dry and they are still quite metallic so i'm happy about that as well and then I was at Michael's because they had some kind of crazy sale. Um, they're rearranging all their Ecoline inks and all that kind of stuff. So I'll show you that in a moment. I got these Stetler 12 watercolor pencils, the tinted ones. They're graphite. Um, I have not opened these yet. So I'm going to go in and destroy the box because it doesn't matter because these are going in my case with my Derwent and my Spectrum Noir tinted watercolor pencils because I believe it was Colorfully Optimistic was talking about how um, these added to your set. I got these at a ridiculously reduced price. They were on clearance for $6. Then I had my 50% off coupon, which somehow, or 40% coupon, which somehow still worked. Um, here's an idea of what the colors are down here. So I wound up purchasing them for super cheap and I felt no pain about buying them. But here they are activated. And as you can see, the ink goes a long way. And that's a really pretty green, greeny blue. Um, Were they labeled? I don't know, let's see. 
I mean, they're Derwent. They should have something. Yes. Or Settler. We have art number 146. So that is like the design journey, I think, where they, yep, these are different numbers. Um, G5, G76. They're all on there. And I would love to show you all the colors. If you want me to swatch them on a video, let me know. Um, I can swatch them along with the Derwents and the Spectrum Noir graphic pe graphic watercolor pencils. Graphite watercolor pencils, sorry. If you'd like, because they are actually a great addition. Sorry, there's a lot of ink bottles in here. Um, I had bought a Hinkler coloring book and it came with these super cute animal markers, which have nothing to do with animals. That's what the book was. Um, but they're just fluorescent highlighters and they're watercolor. So these can be used in my journal. They can be used on coloring pages for highlights. Um, they're basic, but they work and I like them. And they were, you know, technically free. We also got, this is still Michael's. We got Delta Ceramic Coat Cosmo Glaze. This one's Violet Blue Green Shift. And this is what it looks like in the label. Um, I'm going to take some scissors to this. I did not plan on, well, obviously, because I had to go get paper and everything else. I did not plan on doing, like, a sample of what everything looks like. But again, I whenever anybody does it, I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm happy to see it. Um, I just never think to do it. I used to do it when I first started making videos, and then I stopped. And I don't know why. All right, I hope. Well, it doesn't matter if I'm in camera for this. I'm trying to take off the little inside lid. And, well, it's giving me a fit. So, of course, let me take some scissors to it. I'll wash these later. There we go. The plastic. Now, this is interesting um, because it said it's like a blue-green shift or a purple-blue-green shift. And the paint is like white with a purple tint to it. Um, so now I'm really curious what it looks like. Sorry, I've got the plastic stuck to me. I've got the paint stuck to me. I'm special kind of art project lady today. All right, so let's get enough of it. It's very clear and holographic. Clean off that brush real quick. So it tells me that it looks like this, and I've got this. We're going to let it dry and see what happens. It's definitely purples and blues and greens. Um, it reminds me of Glitter Mod Podge right now. But we also got this Glitterific um, on clearance at Walmart, as you can see. And this is Plaid brand. And I'll open that one up as well, take the seal off. Sorry for all of that. I wish... I had thought about that prior to the video, but I did not. I'm going to have to do this the same way. And we're in. All right. My finger is so sticky now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to do the gross thing and put it in my paint water. Because I can't with the sticky. It's just too sticky. I've got chunks of glitter all over me now. This will be fun. Um... So, yeah, this is very, very thick. Sorry, I don't know if I'm in camera. Very thick, very glittery. And, yeah, I imagine this is when you're going to dab around so that you get the glitter where you want it. Wow, that's a lot. It's, um... It reminds me of mermaid scales. So I'm into it. And that is a very thick piece of foil right there. There, I pulled it out. Oh my goodness. And it opens. It's huge. All right. You guys are not here to watch me play with this piece of fo uh, uh, foil. But I am. Anyway. Let me stop. I'm trying to turn it upside down so I can make it flat. Because the fold was not letting me flatten it. And then I get some of the gluey bits. All right. I have to give up. Stop. I'm not alone. Y'all are watching this. Um, yeah, I would do that for an hour, I swear. But so that was the Glitterific paint by Plaid. And does it have a color name? Not that I can see unless it is under this label. 
which I'm going in. No, just as a, there we go. Acrylic paint tropical. So this is the tropical one. It's super, super tiny if you're looking for it at the Walmart. And now we're on to what? Ah, uh, this is, um, I got this because of Jojo Sahana. She used it on a page in a manga book and it was amazing looking. I better shake it just in case. This is also by Folk Art. It's treasured gold, it's called, and it's brilliant metallic acrylic paint. We will put this next to our other gold paint just because these are the ones we have right now. First, I have to take the label off again. I have failed us. I'm so sorry. I did not do well today. And honestly, it doesn't really matter because when I try to not fail, I fail anyway. I think I'm organized and then I go to do something and it's just, you know, half of it's been taken care of. Oh my gosh, this is so, so gold. Okay, we're going to stop there and I will deal with the rest of that later. But we're going to put this next to that gold. And it's probably a little runny because I didn't shake it a lot. But let's just get, like, a buildup of it. And I think... I can't tell because I'm not on my mat anymore. Now I'm on this craft mat. Um, I think we're still in range where that gold is sitting. We're going to come back to it once it's dry. I have to take the lid off this later. And then we're going to go into... The Eco Line paints I picked up for $1.50 a piece at Michael's because they were cleaning out that section and getting ready to redo it. So I've picked up three different shades of blue. This is all that I bought every color they had on the clearance rack. Um, this magenta color that is here that we used for that. I picked up a yellow and I picked up a gold. Um... I cannot use a dip pen with the gold because their metallics are much thicker. But what I can do is add it to our pile of gold here to give you like a little preview of what's going to happen in the video I have coming up next week, I think I said. I can't, I can't remember exactly when and I don't have my computer on so I can't even share it that way. So let me throw that there too. And this is a little watered down because my paintbrush was wet but there's another gold for us to look at and they're gonna dry and we'll see them I also picked up again we're talking a dollar fifty the Liquitex acrylic ink iridescent bright silver give that a, a shake as well and I'm gonna put that next to the silver because why wouldn't I right and that is definitely like a white silver and very iridescent. I got a little chunky here, so let me spread that out to see if it shows more. Okay. And I also picked up a red graphics aqua ink, which is another watercolor ink that was on clearance for $1.50. I picked up an inkwell to leave on my desk with my white paints in it. My white ink, sorry. So this is that. I'm very excited to get to using that, but I didn't want to show it to you full. I wanted to show it to you as I bought it. And then Jody, um, J.I. Colorist here on YouTube, showed this the other day while coloring a bee, and I will link her below as well. Um, Windsor & Newton Iridescent Medium. And I was just mesmerized watching the video. So... Immediately while I was watching the video, I purchased this. I've used it on four pages already. So Jody, if you're watching, thank you again. This is amazing. Um, but it is just an iridescent medium used to add to watercolor. But for us, it just goes on your page. Jody said that it doesn't wrinkle your page, and she was not kidding because the pages I've used it on, it's perfectly flat where I've used it. It's awesome. Um, so that is what we have with that. I'm just going to stand up real quick so I can pull this up closer to the camera. I don't like moving it by hand when I can't see the image. So, yeah. This is that. Oh, can't. There we go. I'm turning it. 
That's the plaid. Was it plaid? No. Delta ceramic coat. Cosmo glaze. And that does not appear to be... Yeah, it's, it's dry. It doesn't appear to be messing with the page at all. It's very flat. I've got mi minimal crinkle. And then this is the iridescent Windsor & Newton watercolor medium, which still moving it. I think we've got it. And then we have our three golds that we purchased here, which was the Montmark, the what? Folk Art Treasure Gold, and the Eco Line Gold. And then we have the two silvers, which was Liquitex is this one. And the other one was the Montmark as well. And so that is my supply haul for the month of, well, May going into June. And that's all I have for you today. So until next time, have a colorful day. Bye. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Yay! Now make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons and hit that little bell down there so you get notifications for when the next video comes up.